Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a humble meeting, unofficial. And official. Official, don't official. It's the name for official. As much as we can, official sincerity goes away. Unofficial meaning. All of us are equal servants to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, appearing out of his our oceans in his divine presence, looking, looking to every one of his servants. We're all same. Everyone is carrying something different from the others. Some are carrying happy situations, light situations. Some are carrying heavy situations by Allah's wisdom. I remember one time in London, UK, England, And I was sitting to give sahrat, and somebody in the apartment next door was playing loud music, strange music. And somebody said to Mulan Sheikh, shall I go and tell them to stop? And he said, no, leave it. He said, they're carrying it and not us. If they didn't carry it, we might have to carry it. Uh, it's like that for everything. I was looking in uh, the book of Malala Sheikh Safras from Lebanon in the early years, in the early 70s. He was saying like that. We were insane. We have to respect everyone. Everyone is carrying something that Allah made him to carry it by his wisdom. I remember Sheikh Hashem said one time in Lebanon, he was there during the Lebanese Civil War. What was the dates of that? I don't know. Early 80s. Early 80s. Yeah. Early 80s. Yeah. Yeah. He said, Grand Sheikh wouldn't let them to carry even a pocket knife. Oh. Not to rise up, not to take action against another one. It's a heavy situation. Everyone wants to do something now. Everyone wants to demonstrate. Everyone wants to uh, more than demonstrate. These people are doing that to us. These people are doing it. These people are doing it. And you don't know what's the wisdom behind it and why it's happening. He used to tell the story of a person who kills his parents. He kills his parents. May Allah save us from exploding like that. And then he goes and sits outside his house, sitting, it's one of those houses on the street with steps going to the street. He's sitting on the steps by the sidewalk crying. Someone comes up to him. Oh, good boy, boy, what happened to you? He said, I'm an orphan. There's more to the story always. There's more to the story. He said it to make a point. What was the story of Musa? He said, oh. He said, oh, my Lord. Where is your justice? You are the Abdul Latif from Karim. You are the just one. But everywhere I'm looking, I'm seeing injustice. Where is your justice? Show me how your justice works. Oh, I said, oh, my justice. Okay. 
it's not something you can say with words, you have to see it. Go to that, there's a place where in the old days they didn't have uh, hotels and motels and buckies and woodies and rest stops and I can, there was a pool, an oasis, a small pond with some palm trees growing around it. Travelers would go there and refresh themselves and go on. So go to that oasis, find a tree, should climb up on that tree and wait, I'll show you my justice. And Saint Namosa, peace be upon you, how much he carried on behalf of the owner. He climbed up in that tree and waited. And you know the story. Remind them to be reminded benefits the believer. She said, not teaching, reminding. So we say the story again, might be some new tajani, new appearances or insights. Say Namosa was waiting in the tree and he hears every time we say, Grandpa, you're telling the same story again. What? It's new for me. <laughs> Musa looks, one traveler is coming on his horse. He gets off his horse, dismounts, higher angle, dismounts and refreshes himself in the pond where the horse drinks. And he makes dua. He prays and makes dua. And Moses is able to hear his dua. Oh my Lord, clean me and all my relatives and ancestors and descendants from beginning up to the end. So all of us, we come in front of you clean on the judgment day, no, no case against any of us. Forgive us completely. Clean it, clean our record. The whole group, whole family, free. He makes dua, finishes his dua, Amin, however they were finishing in those days, gets back on his horse and rides off. As he rides away, his wallet falls out. His pockets, the pouches, whatever they had, falls on the ground. And he rides off. Doesn't see it. It's laying on the ground. So, stirring within the palm tree. Oh, my Lord. Where is your justice? He's praying to you nicely. And now his money is gone. Wait. Wait. Oh, no, sir. After a little while, another guy, as my mother used to say, following on the winter, old guy, he learned some American English. Another guy came riding up, gets off his horse, refreshes himself in the horse. Thanks. He prays also, and Musa can hear his prayer, same prayer. Oh, my Lord. Forgive me and all my relatives, my whole family tree from the Adam up to the last one. Forgive us everything we did. So we come before you on the judgment day clean. No, any accounts against us, any of us. He finishes his prayer, al mean, He's about to get on his horse. And he sees the first guy's wallet there. Right? Nobody else is there. They're in the desert. So have my lucky day. Takes it and rides off. Oh my God, justice, I came to see justice. Wait, wait. After a while, another guy comes riding up. Gets off his horn, crush himself, pray. You know, they made voodoo what they did. Praise, same for them. Oh my Lord, forgive me and all my family, free my ancestors and my glory. Yeah, my descendants, oh, from Adam up to the last one, that we come before you on the last day, no questions against any of us. We'll come clean. He is making dua like that. While he's making dua here, galloping, galloping. The first guy who lost his wallet comes back. 
He sees the third guy there making room. You, you stole my wallet. Where's my wallet? I just got it. I didn't see it. You're a liar. They find he kills that guy. Where's my wallet? He can't find his wallet because the other guy took it. Takes his wallet. All right. Takes his wallet and rides off. Say to Musa, my lord, I came to see your justice. Oh, it was just. Well, Musa. Let's see if I can remember if I want to go to. The first one uh, lost his wallet. He, his grandfather killed the grandfather of the third one. Okay. Third one or second one. The second one, his ancestors had their money stolen by the relative of the first. We paid everybody back and put the blood money on the thing. Every account is clean. You say, you know, justice is just. Everyone paid for their crimes. And Obosa, you're seeing only a small view from up in that palm tree. You saw three people. What about this big picture of all many people? How many ancestors? How many descendants? How many generations since Adam alayhi salam? How many since Noah alayhi salam? They were children of Noah. Okay, how many mistakes made since Noah? Eight people on the ark, and then what the relatives did to each other in 3,000, 5,000 years. How many injustices were done? Cleaning. So all of them come clean on the last day. Everyone paying the price for what they did. Quran says, when you find something you don't like on the count of the deeds that your hands sent forth, Blame yourself, Sheikh Hashem. He used to teach us, blame yourself first for everything. What's the problem in uh, this country or that country? Blame yourself first. I did it. Say. What's going to be? Ask forgiveness. Ask forgiveness. When the Quran says, are they saying to prophets, Allah <laughs> Oh, Muhammad, implying it in front of If only they had come to you asking forgiveness and you asked forgiveness, for them, they would have found Allah accepting their repentance. And I saw something I didn't see before, a translation I didn't think of before. It's usually translated, follow the way of those who have turned to me with love. Grand Sheikh gave a translation. Repent to those who repented abundantly to Allah. Descendants of uh, inheritors of prophets. Maybe descendants, maybe inheritors. Repent to those who they did abundant repentance, Toba. Let them to do istighfar. But nobody accepts that now. They don't accept even the intercession of prophets. All right. so what about the intercession of Audi? They don't accept. They, they never accept it. As much as they don't accept it, it continues more and more. The case keeps building and building and building. A lot of Sheikh said they used to have in the in front of the village hall. Maybe they still have in Pakistan. I don't know. They used to have in America. When they're doing a charity, they have a billboard in front of the village hall or the police station or the library or someplace, official place, a wooden thermometer painted to look like a thermometer to take the temperature. Now they're using electronic. It's a new one to me too. I never saw it before. Full examination, 30 seconds, including blood, everything. As they're raising money, we're raising money for a new school. 
for instance. And they begin to paint a red line as they raise money for that school. Today we reached 5,000, 10,000, whatever they. Well, the Sheikh said, this world has a thermometer like that, except it's not showing how much money they raised for charity. It's showing the amount of zulm, zulm, tyranny, and treachery, and khianat, and betrayals, and sins, and injustice, and cruelty, and every kind. On a worldwide scale, the world has a thermometer, Earth, Earth Day thermometer, global warming, a different kind of global warming. The needle is rising, rising, rising. It has a red line. But all we are looking and seeing it reaching to that red line, it's going to pop, finish, the Lord of Allah come to clean as came for Ad and Samud and call me Noah and call me Hud, call me, as came, call me Fir'aun, call me Nimrod. Past uh, nations, every nation has its time, this one has its time also. When you hit the red line, finish. Until then, you never know. Allah is keeping the accounts. And rising up, is not permitted until there is a leader. So Sheikh Hashem made a book. In that book, he described jihad. He said there are 70 kinds of jihad. Only one is the military jihad. Very specific rules for that. There has to be a leader. As Bani Israel asked for a malik, a king. With Elm Wajism, but that whatever that royal power is, and made a king a king instead of an ordinary person. What made King Arthur pull the sword out from the stone like that? They can lead a jihad. Otherwise, no. Until then, different kinds of jihad. Jihad against the ego. Jihad against uh, jealousy and envy and greed and like that, anger. Rising up for that time, there will come a Ruler who will call people to fight for justice. When that comes, okay. Without that, you can't. It's out of order. Out of order. No one can declare himself that one. And no one can make trouble to make it come closer. It's not allowed. The person doing, make, we're making chaos so that Messiah comes quicker. Some groups are doing like that in all three religions. They want to bring the Messiah, they want to bring Jesus Christ, want to bring Moshe and Matthew quicker, making chaos. No. Quran says, who's doing it like that? He's not afraid of Allah anything. There's no Hashem to walk, no awe of Allah. Subhanahu making Allah to be hey, exactly. like a kitty cat. No. Like a kitty cat. So be afraid. Oh, no. oh my God. We have to repent and repent to those who repented and repent finally in front of prophets. All I said to ask for forgiveness for us. They're never calling for that. I didn't see one person calling on a chat group on the X or the tweet on the anything. Oh, people, let us run to our prophet and ask forgiveness. Let us run to Auli and ask forgiveness. They should do forgiveness for us. I didn't see it anywhere. We have to work in it. We have to do it. We have to. We have to. Do. We can't do anything. Let's we have no power over when we're born, when we die, and how we're going to be raised. No. We're nothing. What we're going to do? They interviewed Sheikh Nazim on English TV. Oh, Sheikh Nazim, what did you do? He stopped the interview. I never did anything. I never did anything. Surrender on the power of power. Now, hold on. To your 
Power to your glory, O my Lord. You're carrying everything, carry me also. Allah can save, can change, and save, and uh, fix everything. We can't do anything. Only Allah can do it. When people will realize that, then have a chance for a solution. Until then, never always going to get worse. May Allah take clean us from our egos, cover pride, to be something. We're nothing. We need help for everything. We need help for everything. Thanks to all. Thanks to all. Thanks to all the show. You gave us something. You gave us something. Come with nothing. He said, starts with nothing, comes to something important. I shall do in the, you know, I shall do in the, 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 I shall do